lying bloodied and battered on her own doorstep. Elian Bomber was convinced she was exhaling her final breaths. Moments earlier, her ex-boyfriend was hacking at her body with a wooden axe and a rusty knife before leaving her for dead. Sadistic John Sweeney had already butchered a former girlfriend, before dumping her remains in a canal. And after his attempted murder of Delia, he went on to kill another girlfriend, before chopping her body into more than a dozen pieces, while on the run from police. Detectives have still not located the whereabouts of three other women who had a relationship with Sweeney, fearing they, too, may have met the same grisly fate. In 2002 Sweeney was given four life sentences for Delia's attempted murder, but it is only now she felt ready to finally tell her story in new book Living with a Serial Killer. Retired nurse Delia, now 67, was left with a catalogue of life-changing injuries after the horrifying assault in 1994 just days before Christmas. Eva Sweeney, who had been released from police bail only hours before, punctured Billy's lung, hit her on the head with his axe, broke both her arms and plunged his knife into her breast and fight. She's been left with horrendous scars and lost a little finger on her left hand. When I meet her in North London near where she lives, Billy winces in agony as she leans over to pick up her cup of coffee from the table. She still experiences a crushing sensation in her chest, what she describes as a clamp fixed over my breast and around my back, like a raw wound that will never heal. Delia will have the pain for the rest of her life, a constant reminder of her ordeal. She still recalls the moment she almost died with devastating clarity, even more than two decades on. On the doorstep, I saw this finger fly through the air, and I thought, that's it. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to live in this anger and pain. So I wasn't happy when I woke up in an intensive care unit. I thought, oh no, I am alive. Now what hell? She constantly hides her missing finger, covering it with a napkin and describing it as a monster. Carpenter Sweeney was on the run for six years after leaving Dila in a pool of her own blood. During that time, he slaughtered mum of three Paula Fields, 31, before dumping her dismembered body in London's Regent's Canal. Ophelia says she wasn't in theory her own life during those dark six years. She explains, Everybody said to me, Oh, I would constantly be looking behind my back if I were you. Six Sweeney tied her to the bed, repeated and raped her and threatened to cut out her tongue with a kitchen knife if she screamed. He held a gun to her head, and then confessed to murdering Molly Melissa Halstead, 33, an ex-girlfriend, in Holland. Her body was found in a Rotterdam canal in 1990, but Sweeney wasn't found guilty of the crime until 2011. He eventually fled the flat to head out on a job in Germany, but Delia's nightmare was far from over. It was then Delia had a premonition of her own murder. I thought, he will do something. He will cut me to bits just like he had Melissa. The moment I discovered he was out, I was on edge. I knew he would be coming for me. And he did. Despite the horror her life became, Delia had first been attracted to Sweeney, originally from Skelmersdale near Liverpool, when they met in Camden Pub in 1991. He told he worked on building sites in Germany, and he seemed well-traveled and exotic. Delia who is originally from Australia and has lived in Israel and America before settling in London, was excited by their shared a passion for travel. But it didn't take long for the cracks to show, and he began to emotionally and psychically manipulate Delia. Delia, 